I'm going to put on my electrician's hat today and to see why I've lost half the power in my detached garage. There's a, a, it's a 240 volt circuit. I've got a 15 amp circuit upstairs and a 15 amp circuit downstairs plus 244 the heat. And this was pre-existing when I bought the house. So this, when you open this thing up, it's actually quite a disaster in there. I don't know who wired this, but it certainly isn't a code. So I have a bit of a problem. One of my circuits has gone down. This is a sub panel, my garage, 240 volts for the, uh, the heat. One breaker for the upstairs portion of the garage. The other breaker is for the downstairs, which is where my heater or my, my freezer lives. And that circuit has gone down. And I found that by banging around the breaker, it came on, but it went out again. So I suspect that uh, we have a bad breaker. So we're gonna test this and see if in fact the breaker is what's causing the fault. So we've got this unit apart. This is live right now. And this is this was this was the previous owner of this house. This was here when I got it. So this is not my work. What a disaster this is. But we can test with the meter and see whether we've got any power. So we've got two bus bars. We got one I got one probe on the neutral and here's one one bus is over here. And as you can see, I got 118 volts. The other bus is this one right here. And I've got zero. Oh, see that spark? I just saw a spark there. We have zero volts there. But if I test here on the wire, the copper exposed right there, we have 115 volts. So I think that our problem is right here. Yes, 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 yes it is. There is our problem. Our problem is right on this panel. So remember, this is live. So I'm going to stick a, I'm going to stick a screwdriver in here, keeping my hands on the insulated part, and I'm going to tighten this down and see whether the power will come back on. <clears throat> I think maybe it's just a bad connection on the bus bar. <clears throat> we'll put the meter back in and see whether I have power on the bus bar now. Easier said than done. Okay, now I have power. So the problem is a bad connection. I don't know what this other wire that's cut off there is for. Looks like there had been another one in there at some point. I think the best thing to do will probably be to shut the power off and clean that up. Because it looks like there had been another wire into there at some point. Looks like the other wires went to this other one that's uh, going out somewhere. Um, there must have been another downstream connection at some point that was connected right into the bus before the breakers. But that's dead. That's been disconnected. As I say, this was here. This was, this this old garage here was uh, on the property when I bought it in '93. And this was this was all put, probably put in in the 1970s. It was a it was an old loft on a garage, and uh, it was uh, I guess they had at some point there had been like a there had been a like a suite up here because there's heat and everything in here. And I I, I use it as my ham radio shack for for a while, but uh, it's got heat and it's got two circuits, one for upstairs and one for down. And as you see, they that screw has uh, worked its way loose, so. I'm going to go kill the power and I have to come up here with a flashlight because when I kill the power, of course, I'll, I'll kill all the lights and then we'll, we'll retort that connection. Okay, we're working under flashlight. I'm just going to loosen this off. I already actually have. And I'm going to pull the red wire out. This is all shut off now. The power shut off completely to the garage here. So I'm going to pull this wire out and... Uh, yeah, you can see, you can see where it's been pitting right here. It's been arcing and burning. So it looks like there was two wires that were put in there at one time. Don't know why, but that was uh, that's the case. So we're gonna put the wire back in. 
we'll torque that down. I'm going to take the one, I think the other side might have a second wire stuck in there as well. So we'll just tighten this down and we'll do the same. Yeah, this one's got the same thing over here. So say, I don't know who did that. That was long before I owned this house. That's off now. Now we'll, turn, we'll tighten this up again. And then they can go and turn the power back on and verify that everything is working. So let's go and turn the power back on. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's turn on the power. I got a radio hooked up to that plug, that circuit. It's heard the music come on. Therefore, the problem is now fixed. All we had on this was this bus bar here. The screw on that bus bar had uh, worked its way loose. And I, I, it's going to be because somebody had two wires in there stuffed in together. Again, that was uh, obviously not very good electrical work. But this house was built in, well, the original house. The house has been torn down. I tore the house down in 2002 and rebuilt. But I didn't rebuild the garage. The garage goes back to... 19, uh, 1948 and this portion of the garage had like a, a like a suite in it at one point and uh, like you know like a like it was it was made like a cottage it didn't have a kitchen or anything it just had heat and uh, I think probably with the, the prior owners is they would you know people would could stay here and they'd store stuff in here and it was it was kind of finished sort of semi-finished and uh, but they had heat in here and they had uh, they had power up and power down for the lower garage and power up for the uh they had one that i think there's a, the lights in here and the um and a couple of plugs are on this breaker and there's one plug up here on this breaker so i don't know whether they had a microwave oven or something plugged into it but there's also a plug downstairs and the garage lights downstairs are on this breaker and that's where my freezer is plugged in so this one here actually draws a fair bit of power when the freezer kicks in and that's probably what blew this after all these years just to say this is a i look at this wiring in here i just shake my head and then there's and then there's this that that's not connected to anything that wire is coming out of there but i don't know where it went but it looks like at one point in time or another it was connected to this and it was actually not even fused it wasn't going through our breaker wherever it went that i don't know but anyway uh, that doesn't go anywhere i'm going to stuff it back in there put the box back together and uh this one is now done thanks for watching